From the state house to the courthouse, the legal battle over a near total abortion ban in South Carolina is underway now. A federal judge temporarily blocked the new law this afternoon. Our Jason Rabin was in court in Columbia today and tells us what's next. About 24 hours after Governor Henry McMaster signed the heartbeat bill into law, U.S. District Court Judge Mary Geiger Lewis granted a 14 day temporary restraining order. In federal court, lawyers representing Planned Parenthood South Atlantic and the state attorney general's office argued about whether or not the law is constitutional. Abortion providers filed the federal lawsuit Thursday before Governor McMaster signed the bill into law. They claim that since a fetus is not viable at six or eight weeks, the bill is unconstitutional. Ban abortions anytime before viability um, deprives women of their constitutional right to choose what will happen with their bodies. That should be a decision not by the government, government by, but by a woman and her family and her physician. Lawyers representing Planned Parenthood say they appreciate the judge issuing the temporary restraining order quickly and look forward to arguing their case in a couple weeks on the preliminary injunction they are requesting. Lawyers for the Attorney General's office argued that federal abortion law is in flux right now. They say they appreciate the judge giving them more time to work on the case. I'm not going to comment on whether I'm surprised. You heard my arguments in court. Um, we um, asked the court to not to issue a TRO or a preliminary injunction. She is going to allow us additional time to be heard on the preliminary injunction. And uh, I think that's really about all I can say at this point. They also argue that since the Supreme Court has not taken up a heartbeat bill like this before, it should be allowed. And they expect an overturn of Roe versus Wade coming soon. A possibility, but I don't think they need to count their chickens before the hatch because that court with the Republican appointees has already surprised some of the uh, folks with their decisions that are based on law instead of policy. Now, South Carolina Attorney General Alan Wilson wrote in a statement today's temporary restraining order is only a first step, but the legal fight has just begun. We look forward to further arguing why this law should be valid. The next hearing is scheduled for March 9th. Now, if that preliminary injunction is granted, the state could appeal that ruling. From downtown Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News.